Welcome to Digital Asset News, the top stories in cryptocurrency digital assets, and break them down to bite-sized pieces. So today, welcome, I'm gonna do a little bit of something different. I'm gonna try to use a different microphone, so we'll see exactly how this all works out. But the whole theme of today's video is, did I miss it? Because with everything that's going on right now, it is uh, January 3rd, it is around 11 a.m. El Paso, Texas time. With everything that's, that's happening, especially with Bitcoin, just skyrocketing in price. I mean, just what was it uh, a couple months ago? We were sitting around ten, eleven thousand dollars. Now here we are today, this morning, at thirty-three thousand, sometimes thirty-four thousand. Just depends on the minute that you look at the uh, the price action. So the question that I've been getting a lot, not just in email, but in messages and everything that on Twitter is, uh, did I miss it? Did I miss the whole bull run? Is it too late to invest? And and the answer is really no. I mean. It, you didn't miss anything. And the real question is, did you miss out on these fantastic gains? Well, with Bitcoin, potentially, yeah. I mean, if you look at price predictions, and there's everything, right? there's everything out there, everything from it's going to go to $50,000 this year, it's guaranteed. Or you see other ones where it's going to go to 400000 or some people even say $1.2 million. Um, we had uh, Raul Powell from Real Vision. He came out and said that, yeah, doing this uh, logarithmic chart, it looks like it's going to go to 1.2 million by this year, which I think is absolutely insane, but it's cryptocurrency. So, so, so what do you know? So if you're thinking about like Bitcoin, did I miss it? It just depends on where you think it's actually going to go and the, the store of value narrative versus the actual currency narrative and can it actually find legs? Me personally, I'm going to go very, very conservative and just say I see it. As around $150,000 this year, 2021, and that's like a guarantee. Like I would, I have no problem with telling my own mother, "Hey, put your money into this because it's going to go to $150,000." That's what I personally believe, at minimum. And of course, if it overshoots, hey, it overshoots. So we have to take a look at that and say, well, if it's 35,000 round right now, or let's just say 30,000 round numbers. I'm not real good with math. Not real good with math. So if we take 30,000 to get to 150,000. Well, I mean, we're only looking like like a five x, and a five x that's a that's a pretty huge market cap. And if you're a you know if you're on the far right as far as Bitcoin maximalism, you're like, yep, definitely, and everything else is going to zero. If you're somewhere in the middle, you're like, eh, maybe. And then if you're on the left hand side, you're like, you know what? You know what's going to go great? Tomato coin or whatever crazy coin that's out there. So uh, just think about it this way: uh, to five x, you are you haven't missed anything right now, even though it's you know thirty three thousand dollars. So then you start to take a look at what about the altcoins? Well, if you go down the list and look at Ethereum, remember in 2017 when this all you know just shot off like a rocket, the first thing that I saw when everybody saw was Bitcoin. So when you take a look at the alts, everything under Bitcoin, um, that those are the ones that will pop off next. Will there be an altcoin season? I think yes. I mean, there usually is one. I think there won't. There'll be a little more volatility because the big institutions are pretty much investing into Bitcoin and also Ethereum for that matter. And we kind of see things that are going on right now, like Ethereum. This morning is 9:37. It's up 20 percent, 34 percent for the week. And then the third spot, U.S. Tether. Nobody cares unless you're an auditor. <laughs> and then the fourth one, this is interesting, is Litecoin. Litecoin flipped with XRP. And, um, you know, if you're a heavy XRP holder and you only own XRP, this might be a chance for you to take a step back and go, maybe I should take a look at alts. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not a financial advisor. But I'm just saying, uh, I firmly believe in diversification. So if you think like, well, you know, I'm just going to just load up on XRP and see, see what happens. Could work out for you, but who knows? The big question that I have is if, if XRP is really being used 95% throughout the globe and only 5% in America, we're getting shut down here in, in the United States. So if we get shut down here in the States, why did the, the price drop so dramatically? Shouldn't everything else throughout the globe kind of take care of that? Why did it go from 60 to 50 cents to 30 to 20 to whatever we're going to go to next? It's a question I'm sure I'm sure you will tell me exactly what it is in the comment section, but that, that's just how I see it. But I mean, look at the other ones like Polkadot. Do you think Polkadot is topped out at $9? I don't think so. I think it's a $50 coin. It could be $100. I was on Alex Masculi's show. We've had some very smart people on there and they think, yeah, 50 bucks seems reasonable, $200. Great. So if, if that's the case, that's a 5X to 10X play. And then just going down farther, even if you look at like uh, Cardano, Cardano right now is 19 cents, 19 cents. So imagine 
Cardano back in the bull run days, it was like a dollar thirteen, I think, was the all-time high. Uh, is it outside the realm of possibility that it can go 5x, 10x, 20x? Because Bitcoin's already gone to its all-time high, plus another 50%. So uh, these are just things you can definitely take a look at and go, you know what? I think I can get into these. Chainlink, uh, no, not EOS. Celsius uh, is on a tear. Theta, which I've been talking about on the channel a lot, and all the ones that I'm biased. I always talk about it. You may have yours, but just take a look at what's going on. And I think that this time right here, if you look at the whole rhythm of how things go, really it is, you know, Bitcoin kind of pops off and then, and then here comes the alts. So when you have all these things in line, I think you're just at the perfect time to invest into something else. Again, I'm not telling you what to do. This is what I'm going to do. I have stopped dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin for right now, and I'm putting them into uh, the alts. And I have, there was a video that we did recently, and it was the four, uh, the only four that I DCA, which was uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, and Voyager, which was kind of a controversial pick. But uh, these days, I, uh, since Bitcoin hit above 30,000, I kind of put my Took my foot off the gas on that one, and it is uh, Ethereum, Cardano, Voyager, and Celsius. I think with one of those four, um, I don't have to have them all winners. I just have to have just one big win, and I'm pretty happy about that. So that's what's going on. And then there's also this article I want to bring up as far as, like, did I miss it? If you look at Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger, they're the most, they're the the best or most prolific investors out there uh, of the last century, we'll say. Maybe Rockefeller's up, up there, you know. But these guys made fantastic moves and they missed the boat on cryptocurrency. And it's not just cryptocurrency that they missed the boat on. They missed the boat on a lot of different other uh, assets. They, you know, they missed the boat on Google. They missed the boat on Netflix. I mean, they missed the boat on a lot of things because they're not techie guys. So when you take a look at these guys and this article, it talks about, let me scroll down real quick. This is 2018 annual shareholders meeting. Buffett said that Bitcoin is rat, rat coin, rat poison squared. And then they talk about how Bitcoin's value anywhere above the 29,300 mark um, will put it above the entire market valuation of Berkshire Hathaway, which is their, their uh, flagship uh, for Charlie Munger and Warren Buffett at $544 billion, which is a billion above that whole capitalization. So if you take a look at like, well, did I miss it? Well, you haven't missed anything yet, but you, the, the boat is leaving. And if you're going to sit on the side shores, the sidelines, just like uh, Charlie and Warren, you're going to miss a lot. And the last thing I want to I bring up is this, and that is everybody who has been in this space has felt like they have missed the boat all throughout time because they're like, ah, you know, shoot, I missed, I missed Celsius at $9 or, you know, or $2 or whatever it was. I remember, I remember getting Celsius below a dollar. was awesome. Theta, this is the same type of thing. Bitcoin, I remember in, in March when it crashed down to $5,000. It was awesome. But... So people always say, well, I missed the boat. But take a look at this. I think getting Bitcoin right now at $2,000, it would be a steal, right? I think everybody can agree with me there. Well, let's take a look at the, 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 the history itself. If you look at all the way back in 2013, you had Bitcoin at $14. I remember looking at these uh, posts where people were all pissed off because they sold it like eight bucks, nine bucks. Like, God dang it, look, now it's like $14. I'll never be able to get in there. And then, you know, it goes up to $46. And this is on March 2013. They're like, ugh, you know, I sold at $14. Now I'll never get in there. And then just in a very short amount of time, you went from about 200 bucks in October 2013 all the way up to over $1,000 in November. And of course, when it hit $1,000, believe me, everybody down here who had sold up that ladder, same type of thing. They're like, oh my God, I'll never be able to get in there uh, again because it's, it's way too high and it's gonna keep going to the moon. And that's the problem with some people. They just think like, oh, I'll just go forever. It doesn't. Uh, there's dips and valleys and it'll keep going up. I truly believe this cycle, you got till 150K. You know, so even if you invested in like, at like 100K, which I might at some point, I'm not for sure, but I've already got my positions there. If you don't wanna go Bitcoin route, altcoins are a pretty good look and the ones that I talked about. 
And uh, it really just comes down to how long do you do you want to wait on on some of these in, in the top 50. I think you know you're pretty safe. But if you start to look at like 200, 300, 400, those are longer plays. Like me, if you've noticed, the ones that I DCA, uh, Ethereum is number two, uh, Cardano seven, eight, somewhere around there, and then. Uh, uh, Celsius is around 17 and then all the way down number 230 something like that is Voyager so it's kind of like I consider like, like like fireworks like one will pop off here and then a little bit later another one will pop off and a little bit later another one will pop off and then all the way down here this other one will pop off maybe a year or two years later so we try to spread it out and diversify so I hope that answers some of your questions uh, as far as like did I miss the boat you haven't missed the boat, and I'm just trying to pull everybody into the raft, the life raft that I can possibly get my grubby hands on before uh, everything just goes off. So hopefully that helps. Uh, thanks for watching all the way to the end. And also, uh, lastly, I want to talk about one thing, which is these days, it doesn't matter how much you make, it is how much you keep. And uh, I recently just discovered <laughs> that I lost $20,000 worth of Cardano. Why did I do that? Well, when they were doing the test net, I had opened up the Daedalus wallet and I had deposited 20,000 there because I got kicked off of Binance and I had to put it somewhere. So I put it in there and guess what happened? Uh, I lost my mnemonic phrase because uh, I was uh, pretty uncareful. So what I have learned is that it's important to store it in a secure way as best as possible because you don't want to be like me where you missed out on 20,000, which really still hurts. Now that I think about it, damn, that sucks. So what I'm recommending to you is the stone book. If you don't know the stone book, I've got a couple of myself. They last a lifetime and they're, they're tear resistant, oil and chemical, water resistant, all that good stuff. And then uh, you've got this cool like little James Bond pen. It's like black light. It's pretty cool. But uh, I've got two. One I keep in my house with all the different passwords and the other ones uh, I have in my safety security box. So if I lose that one or something crazy happens, my five, my, uh, my house burns to the ground, I have a backup and I don't lose a ton of cryptocurrency that I have on my mana ledger and throughout on different wallets. So. All right, so that is it for today. Uh, if you're looking for the Shield Folio, uh, viewers of Digital Asset News, they get 20% off. Thank you, Freddie, for giving that to us. It's in the description below. There's a link that looks just like this. And when you click on there, I just uh, go over there, pick one up. I got a couple, and I recommend that. But if you just want one, sure. All right, so that's it for today. Thanks so much for uh, sticking with me to the end. I appreciate it, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.